Hi everyone. In November last year, I tested out the then new Muse Sounds Choir. I thought it was time to see how much the sounds have improved since then and test out their capabilities a bit more. So we'll check out the sound we got in November and compare it to what we get now. Then I'll also look at other aspects I've found since then. Let's start with Legato. the current Mew sounds. So it is nice to have the tenor sound for the tenors instead of the bass that we had previously, although now there seems to be a slight accent on the end of these forte notes, which I'm not particularly fond of. What about staccato? And current musical? I'm very glad that they fixed that staccato sound, so that's that's a nice big improvement. In fact, I'm really not hearing much of a difference between staccato and staccatissimo, which makes lots of sense to me when we're dealing with vocals. So I'm very glad of that, uh, and the piano still sounds wonderful and together. Now the accents from the current musical. So that is a nice big improvement. Uh, those accents actually sound like accents, and these are far more legato, even without slurs, which I'm not sure if I like yet. Uh, but I think for, for vocals, that's absolutely fine to have that. So that's really cool. Finally, the clusters. So that did sound good, but I could have got it sounding a bit better, a bit more smooth, uh, and that just is because I could have split out all the parts instead of having them all in one, uh, all on one instrument, which we'll see later. But so this is the new one. Let's just zoom out so we can see all of the parts. And the dimin diminuendo to pianissimo also works really nicely now. So um, yeah, it's those small things that can make a difference. Very nice. I also wanted to have a look at some of the other things that a choir could do that I hadn't really explored yet. So here I have a, I've called it an emotional choir, but um, essentially I'm using short notes and different dynamics, and then uh, also some bigger kind of powerful choir stuff. So not those small Eric Whitaker type clusters. So let's have a listen. Already, that's really cool. Uh, okay, now how about these accented forte, huge, big chords? So I'm really quite impressed with the tone uh, and the range of these vocals. I mean, this soprano. OK, 
and from there it stops. So we can even we can get to a, f a full top C, which is really really cool. The altos seems like an F is their highest. The tenors looks like also a top C, and the basses are in a top E. So there's a good range there um, in the in the high range, which is what I wanted to check out for this one. The other thing I wanted to test out here was could MuseScore do on the same stave a long note or um, or a moving line, well really the long note, with these shorter notes. And it's good to know that it does. Not sure what that was quite there. Um, but yeah, it definitely works. So I'm not sure how it works, but it's good to know that it does. I've also recently tested out the choir with uh, a classical piece of music, well, a romantic piece of music by Rachmaninoff, Bogorodice Devo. And um, if you go, feel free to go and have a look at that video. I just was trying to eke out as much as I could from these Muse sounds. And definitely it's the, it's the gradual dynamics and the sustained sound that are winning in this thing. That's, I find that's a really beautiful sound from the choir um, and definitely the, one of the strong points of these Muse Sound choirs. As always, there is still room for improvement. Uh, so some of the things I've found um, in these, it, it seems like this first quaver is being a little bit shorter and goes into that quaver first. Let's just have a listen to that. See that that first quaver almost seems to be cut short although now that i hear it again i wonder if it's not that these articulated notes are coming in slightly late which is then um and these are on time and and so that's causing the problem if anyone has any further information on this please feel free to comment maybe you've tried it yourself in one of your compositions and found something similar is it just the altos that do this or are there other voices i'm not sure the soprano, combined with the rest of the choir in short notes here, seems to confirm this mismatch between the timings of different articulations in the choir. Strangely though, some notes seem to come in early while others come in late. Let's have a listen. First one late. And I feel like this B flat, uh, B and E come in a little bit early. So uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure what's happening there. Maybe it's some kind of algorithm trying to make this a little more musical um, but it's certainly not working with the addition of the short notes while we're here i was also hoping for a bit of a quieter high note i even made a piano and staccato just for that delicate lift at the top and we're in that's definitely not what we're getting another problem that i've explored seems to be this divisi in the vocal parts um, that they they lose their legato character certainly in these bits as well it seems to mess with the playback engine's ability to make notes legato. So we've got that big pause between notes. Luckily, this is a fairly quick fix, although not one you'll want to do if you already have a big orchestra playing because of CPU concerns. So what we need to do is I'll go I for instruments, go to our vocals, and we'll add another one of each of the voices. There we go, we've got doubles of everything. And then it becomes fairly easy to select my soprano, use tools and explode, and it jumps it into the other voice. So I can just do the same for all the others. Tools, explode, select, you get the idea. And this now, That is a fantastic sound. So quick fix, um, 
But yeah, it's a pity that we have to do that. But at least now we've got the legato retained. The other small irritation I find is that the, the mezzo forte or mezzo piano to forte, that change over here uh, is a bit abrupt in the tone of the choir. Let's just have a listen one more time. It's almost they, they have a, a very different tone quality in the mezzo forte and the forte, and it doesn't gradually change, which is a pity. Um, yeah, it sort of abruptly almost goes to shouting. I don't know if it's more in the men or more in the ladies. I'm not quite sure. If you have any other things you want to check out in choir or in Muse Sounds in general, feel free to leave me a comment, uh, and I look forward to seeing it. Bye.